คนเงินสองปิดเฮ้ยทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคน A lot of time when you send the knee, you're tempted into dropping that hand. Okay? Why? Because it's gonna help you to make like you know your leverage and stay in your axis. Like for the middle knee, that's a bad idea. Simple reason: it uncover your face. When you send the knee and you drop your hands straight away, your face is exposed. Again, what I like to say is. The knee is one of the best way to counter boxing. When people have some strong boxing, usually knee is a great, great, great counter. But that's if you have a solid defense. If you have a weak defense, if you have some hole in your guard, and you start to send the knees, that's where people are gonna get you with boxing straight away to the face, to the body. There is a lot of place you can get hit when you train with the knee. Okay, so. The first thing we're going to start to work on is hand position with the knee, and we're going to start with the short distance knee. When I go for a short distance knee, I try to keep my hands on my head. Okay? I imagine that I cover my head, close my elbow, keep my head down, and from here I want to pop knee to the body. You see, when I get that knee straight away, pop my knee go inside, align my hips with my target, knee inside, come back. Knee inside, come back. You see, straight away, my knee go inward and go away. Inward, go away, and I'm tight. So that's for the short distance knee. Trade, pa, back. And I usually like to link this knee, pa, with boxing. So as soon as I say my knee, knee, come back, pa, I get boxing. Knee, come back, pa, I get boxing. Knee, come back, pa, I get boxing. That's really easy to link. Do sneak with your hand. As always, some of you are gonna be. But you had my tight crush to me. If you want to use your knee and have power, you have to drop your hands and away, away. And again, that's bullshit. Do this, and people are gonna smoke you with their hook or straight. Remember, the only way you can send a knee like that is by crunching. Like for the middle kick, kickboxing style. I send my knee, bam, crunch, and then I'm coming back. Again, remember, it's very important to be as tight as possible when you send your knee. Dropping your hands is never gonna help you. It's gonna help you to keep your position, keep your axis, but not increasing your power. The only moment I'm gonna do this is when I grab someone's gloves. If I grab your hand, grab your gloves, I'm gonna pull you in. But because since both of your hands are trapped, I don't have any risk of getting punched in the face. I have my position. I trap you. Bam! Drive you in my knee. Come back. Pull. Come back. Now on to the bag. So we're gonna start with the basic one, the short distance knee. Okay. I have my position. I keep my hands up. Hands on my head. What I'm gonna try to do is driving my knee inside. And I'm coming. coming. Get my position. Keep my hands up, heads down, and knee. as you can see, I'm tight. My defense is high. Knee, light on my legs. Knee, light on my legs. Knee, light on my legs. I can lead keep with the elbow. So I'm gonna get my knee. So I have my position over here, facing my back. What I'm gonna try to do is drive my knee inside. Okay. As you can see, the goal is really to try to. Rotate my knee, up, and keep my hands up. Okay, I am in position. Keep my hands up. Knee, come back. I'm tight. Knee, come back. I'm tight inside. I'm coming back. Light on my legs. I'm coming back. Light on my legs. I'm coming. Back. I'm coming back. I'm coming back with my hands. After that, we have the long distance knee. One of my favorites. So for the long distance knee, what I'm trying to do is I try to align my knee, my hips, and my shoulder, like so. 
Get my distance. One, two, three. I align everything. As you can see, it's as if I make a spear with all of my body. I have my position. Knee. And I'm coming back. I have my distance. Position. Knee. And I'm coming back. For my hand position, I like to try to put my hand on the opposite hand of my opponent. So I'm here and boom, and I'm coming back. Extension. Extend and come back. As you can see, I keep my balance tends to my rotation. Here, knee, come back, in and out, knee, and back. That knee is mostly used when my opponent is coming, breaking distance, I'm far away, I have my long guard, long distance, lift my knee, pop, and accelerate my movement. Again, I have my position, control the hand of the opponent, lift, pop, rotate, and come back. And I like to give an extra twist in the end. Lifting my knee, and pop, increasing the speed like a spear. Again, I'm going to try to align my body, my knee, my hips and my shoulder. So I have my distance, I'm here, create some distance and I go for my knee. As you can see, my goal is to align, is to align hips, knee, shoulder, knee, hip, shoulder, everything is aligned. I have my distance, I'm going to increase the rotation by rotating a bit more on the end of the movement. Here, and I'm coming back. Balance, and I'm coming back. It's a very strong knee. Fuck. Yeah. Thanks to the magic of having a lot of different bags, I can take a new one. So, I'm here. So again, as you just saw, I try to increase my rotation but at the end of the movement. Of course, the rotation in, back and out is going to help me to keep my balance, okay? For this one, I can lean back and extend my hand across the opponent's and I'm coming back. This hand stays on my face though. I don't want to drop my hand, I don't want to be here because I kick can still come up. So I'm here and I'm coming back in and out. So that's what I want to try to do with that long spear knee. It's even more powerful when people are coming in. That's where they're coming in that you have to bait in. Bah! Extend with that. You see? If you're coming in, I bah! rotate, extend straight dead center. It's as if you're sending a punch, bah! but on steroid. Now another very easy way to get the movement of the knee in this situation is to start with just putting my knee on a wall. Okay, when I put my knee on the wall, I'm going to try to engage my glutes. Holding my leg, closing my elbow. And from here now, what I want to do is putting my hands across. One, two, three, make my alignment, keep my hand in the way. Okay, this is going to really help you to get a strong alignment when you send your knee. On the other side, same thing. I get my position, I grab my leg. One, my, my butt might stick out in the beginning. I want to straighten that up. Straighten, one, two, three, keep my position. That's going to help me to have a very strong knee. And then I'm coming back. Or up close, same thing. What I can do is getting close to my target. My hips are going to be close to my target when I'm clinching, okay? Head close. I can create some distance and from here, shot knee inside. You see, straight away, create some distance and pop, twist my knee inside. I want to get a small twist when I get my knee. One more time. Hands up and pa, twist inside, open, close, and cut a sign inside. That's a very strong knee too. So remember, today again, we try to work on keeping the hands up, getting the right distance and position to send a strong knee, okay? From up close or from far away, okay? Again, up close, far away, and I get my distance. Remember, if you like the video, if it helps you, it can help others. So like, share and comment if you have any questions as always. I'm always very happy to help any of you guys. If you need some information or if you want to be part of a great community, you can always follow us at Bushido HQ in Instagram over here or on my channel over there. It was Joan Mabudu Crazy Leg in Shanghai. See you next time.